We travel back in time as we learn about New Zealand's history at the Waitangi Treaty Grounds. It is an absolute must-do when you are in Bay of Islands because it is rich in history and stories of the momentous events which shaped the nation. An informative guided tour started with a walk through the lush native forests and gardens. Then, we saw the world's largest ceremonial war canoe. Whoa, look at that. Oh. This is a Maori war canoe. Ah, it's a Maori quite a long name. Uh, but this is the 35 meters long, recorded in the Guinness Book of Records. Large single house canoe in the world. This canoe, or otherwise known as the Waka, is paddled every year on February as part of Waitangi Day celebrations. The guided tour ended outside the carved meeting house where we are given a traditional Maori welcome before moving inside for a full cultural performance which includes songs, traditional war dance, and many more. Kia ora! Kia ora! Kia ora! Ah, that was terrible. Let's try that again. <laughs> Kia ora! Kia ora! Kia ora! Welcome to the Waitangi Treaty Grounds and of course to your Maori cultural experience here today. We'll start off with a traditional Māori welcoming ceremony, also known as the Pōhiri. Filming the concert was not allowed. Did you enjoy that show? Yeah. Huh? Was it nice? Yeah, it was You learned cool. a lot? Yeah. After the performance, we spent some time looking through all the details in the walls and pillars of the carved meeting house. It's planted by Agnes, wife of James Busby, in 1836. Whoa, and this has grown into this huge tree. That doesn't end our visit at Waitangi Treaty Grounds. We explored more. To mark the spot where the Treaty of Waitangi was first signed, a huge flag staff has been put up where the first three official flags are flying. Of 
fourth oldest house in New Zealand. Look at the bed. We discovered more of the history as we entered the treaty house. It is the home of James Busby, who is the first representative of the British Crown in New Zealand. We also went inside the Museum of the Price of Citizenship. This museum commemorates the commitment and sacrifice of Maori in the New Zealand Armed Forces. We took a break and had our lunch at the Fariwaka Cafe. There were resident eels at the cafe, which kept Gab entertained. What's that, Gab? That's an eel. That an eel? Whoa. It's a cool eel. Hey, it's going to. Yeah. Don't they eat the eels? I think they're eating them. Don't you think? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Gab, are you having fun so far? Yeah. Do you like it here? I, yeah. What do you like here the most? What did you learn? The ox, the long boat. The long boat, you like it? Yeah. What it's that, awesome, right? What kind of boat yeah. is that? It's used for what? For war. For war? It's a war yeah, and you, yeah, from a long time ago. And and they put that and and they can put it back to the water. What, what's your favorite? I like the... The dancing and the singing and the haka. Wow. There is a bird trying to eat our food. Eat our food yeah. That looks yum. Yeah, it is. It looks the bird yummy. Is trying to eat our food. There is a bird right there. Yeah, there is some fine things. Hot, 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 hot. This is the fries. Here's the fries, a meal, yes, it's truth. Final stop was the Museum of Waitang that features images and artifacts that tell stories of New Zealand's past. In my book. This is also where the different copies of New Zealand's founding documents can be found. This was our first out-of-town trip, and it was worth an hour drive to be in one of the most historic places in New Zealand, to witness a Maori culture, and of course to gain more understanding of the history of the country where we currently live. Thank you for watching our videos. Please 
like and comment and subscribe.